Welcome to 3 dio Sounds. We bought new gear and in this quick video I would like to show you what we got. We bought the Ulanzi MT49 light stand which could be a better but it's definitely a more affordable alternative to the Manfrotto Nanopole. Three years ago I bought the Manfrotto Nanopole and there's nothing to complain about but we felt like it is time for something new and when we saw that Ulanzi brought something out, a light stand, we were really curious about it and that's why we bought this one. Now let's talk about the price really quick. We paid about $90. So this is not a sponsored video or a gifted product. The Manfrotto Nanopol is about $200, but this also comes with a bag. So if you care about having a little bag, it comes with the Ulanzi. Also talking about the price really quick again, here on top I have the Rykord Quick Release, which I love using, but this one is $120. So we get this for $90 and this for $120, who knows? Maybe if Ulanzi watches this video, maybe you can also create a more affordable alternative to the Rykord Boom Quick Release. If you're curious about the size when the light stand is collapsed, this is my Minal bag. And as you can see, it fits perfectly here in the side pocket without sticking out too high. You see, I don't have the Rykord here right now, but with it, it's about this height. So if you don't want to use any kind of boom connectors, it fits perfectly here on the side of this Minal bag. Let's start extending the light stand. One of the big differences is that the legs are fully carbon and this is not the case on the Manfrotto Nanopole. But what I like on the Manfrotto Nanopole is that the thread is a 3.8. Here we have a one quarter inch. So we need an adapter if you want to use the microphones that I use. You can find them in any camera store. I put your link in the description down below. But it would be nice if Ulanzi would put an adapter for this in here or maybe even change the thread to a 3.8 and then puts a one quarter inch adapter within the box. So my first impression, to be honest, I just bought it. So when we talk about durability, I can tell you more in one year, two years, three years. The Manfrotto Nanopole, three years, I had absolutely no problem with this. So I hope I won't have problem with this one as well. But when I touch everything, it feels, it feels really good, to be honest. So $80, $90 spend. If this light stand can hold up for three years, it is definitely worth the money. And now when we extend it all the way to the height, let's put it on the ground. This is about 180 right now. No, it's not. Because I'm 178 to be honest. Almost 180, maybe I still get there. So if you're indoor and you want to put a light on, that's great. It's a great height. We don't need anything more. But for the way I use it, I wouldn't go that high. And I want to show you what I use this light stand for. So what microphone I'm going to use with this light stand, let me reveal it to you. It's the DPA 5100 5.1 surround microphone kit. And I'm super excited to use this together. And now look, this is, this is what I love. It is light, it is high quality, and I can just plug in the cable and start recording in no time. And that's what I'm all about. That's why I love using these kind of solutions. Imagine. Sound, Zack. cable in here, record. But wait, there's more. Also what we can do, we can just take off this part here and then we screw this out. Now we can use this as a boom pole. And now imagine I have my Sony PCM D100 here or any other recorder you want to use. And now imagine there is a, what right now there actually is, a bird up in the tree. Go a little higher. And then we can record the birds in the tree as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I could show you a great alternative to the Manfrotto Nanopole. And if there's anything wrong with this one in the next couple of weeks or months, then you will be the first one to know. So I hope you have a great day wherever you are in this world and I can't wait to see you in our next video.